Earlier today, the country of Sri Lanka was devastated by horrible and senseless attacks. Tragically, over 200 people lost their lives and many more have been injured. Our thoughts and prayers are with those who have been impacted and with the people of Sri Lanka. We ask now that you and ahead of this afternoon's to, game at Scotia Bank the Arena, the Leafs and Bruins pay tribute to the victims of the bomb attacks in Sri Lanka with a moment of silence. Over 200 people killed, 400 others injured in a series of targeted bombings at prominent churches and hotels in Sri Lanka. In what was supposed to be a holy weekend for millions around the world, bloodied scenes remain. Just a snapshot of the horrific attacks. And the community here in Toronto left shaken up as friends and family described the horrors of the blast. And on this Easter Sunday, many are turning to prayer in light of this tragedy. On what was supposed to be a holy day in the Christian calendar, the Spalding family put their breath and celebration on hold as news of the blast trickled in. When they said, like, let's pray for Sri Lanka and all the people, we were not able to celebrate Easter today. And it's, it's a very dark day for us because when we heard the news, we didn't know what exactly to do. Our hands were shaking. For hours, they waited in silence to hear if their loved ones back home in the capital of Colombo were okay, as the death toll kept climbing. I'm very sad. The small kids are crying. Their mothers die. Luckily, they were. But the scenes beyond horrific, as friends and family send videos of the aftermath, blood everywhere, sirens wailing, bodies on the ground, and screams for help. The images just too graphic to show you. Guy was running out saying that the guy who was praying next to me is dead because he's safe, but he was bleeding. But they live on for the Spalding family who immigrated to Canada 12 years ago following the 2004 deadly tsunami where they witnessed the aftermath of the destruction that left tens of thousands of dead bodies on the sides of the road. So we saw people running around, the same feelings, you know, that feelings I get. You remember that yeah, time. Those things I remember like, like that and blood creation, my God, it's unbelievable. Those killed on the island country today were innocent bystanders, many vulnerable and attacked in a sacred place on a sacred day. As fellow worshippers at Toronto St. Michael's Cathedral Basilica were doing the same today. Especially in a day like this, it's very sad. I'm just praying for the peace in Sri Lanka. Inside churches today, sorrow blankets the Easter processions and religious leaders holding prayers for Sri Lanka. We as Christians gather together to the celebration of the resurrection of the Lord. And so we do so with a deep, profound joy in our hearts, but tinged as we celebrate the light by a very real awareness of the darkness into which the light comes. Inside St. Boniface Catholic Church, the Spalding family clings on to faith as they struggle with what's happened to their churches, their country, and loved ones back home. And as hundreds continue to fight for their lives in Sri Lanka, the Spalding family tells us they've been helping to facilitate blood donations back home.